Hey guys, what's going on? So, um, not long ago in this tutorial, I showed you how to make this origami double box right here. And yeah, and it's pretty cool because it has two boxes right here, and it's folded from just one sheet of paper. But the only problem about it is that it's got all these, it's got these flaps right here, and it's not really the cleanest. So, here I just designed, um, a version right here, see? This one right here, it, it doesn't have any creases on the inside of the box right here. And I didn't see there's no flaps around it. So pretty much the only um, flaps is you can just see them inside. But yeah, but those aren't really noticeable though. But yeah, it's pretty cool. And the inside of the boxes are pretty much seamless. And yeah, and what I also like about this is that it's actually a lot bigger than this one. See? So yeah, and this is folded from just one sheet of paper. And I'm gonna show you how to fold it. Alright, ready, set, here it goes. Oh, and before I show you how to fold it, I want to show you this other model that I recently designed. This right here is a quad box. And this is actually inspired by that one that I taught several months ago. So here there's no creases on the inside, and there's no flaps sticking out. And I'll have a tutorial for this soon right here. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to fold this one. So for this model, I'm going to use a sheet of Kami. So uh, let's begin right side up. And if you don't want these... If you don't want this crease in the inside of the box, then uh, do, do what I do. So fold in half, but just make two crease marks on the two sides. But if you don't mind the crease going all the way across, then you can, you can fold all the way across. I'm going to make it seamless, so two crease marks. Alright, and now fold to your crease marks. And this time you can fold all the way across. Alright, and repeat on this side. Okay, and now rotate like this and fold in half. Okay, and now turn over, well, leave your side up. And we're gonna fold this up and we're gonna pretend like we're dividing into fifths. So we're gonna fold this up so that this is twice this. So just estimate it for right now and then now fold this over. And this is the hardest step of the whole model. But all the rest of the steps after this are pretty easy. So just fiddle with the folds and what you want is you want this point right here to land in the middle of this edge. So yeah, so just estimate it first. Alright, and then now once you once you're close right there, you can just take this point and fold it over to this point. Don't worry about all this down here. Because you're just making crease marks on this on this side. And what you what you're aiming for is you want all these points to align. So it's sticking out just a little bit right here, so uh, I'm just going to fold this back a little bit and then fold this over like that. Now test it out. And there we go, that's better. So you want all the points to align right here. Alright, and make pinch marks right there. You don't need to do it on this side. Unless you want to, if you want to. Okay. So now keep this side up, the side with the, the mountain fold right here, and with no flaps. So fold this edge to the furthest crease mark. Alright, and you can fold all the way across. Alright, rotate and do the same thing, so fold this edge to the furthest crease mark. Just like that. So this part right here is going to be this line right here, that this edge that separates the two boxes right here. Okay, so now we're gonna do is we're gonna take this edge and we're gonna fold it to the middle crease. But don't fold all the way across, just fold just fold on this segment right here. So just from this crease to here. Like that. And repeat on this side. So take this edge and fold it to the middle. And don't fold it all the way across. Just fold from this crease right here to here. Okay, like that. And now repeat on this side. Okay. And now take this and fold it up 
right on these two points right here. So where this crease hits this crease right here, so where they make a point right there. And where this diagonal crease and this diagonal crease meet right there. Like this, and make sure these, these creases align. Make sure the sides align too. And make this fold nice and sharp. Alright. And repeat on this side. Okay, unfold. And take this edge and fold it to this crease. Alright, unfold and do that three more times. Alright, and repeat on this side. I'm not gonna fast forward. <laughs> okay, like that. Alright, now, uh, turn over. So here's the side with these two flaps right here. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this point and we're gonna fold it to here. Or rather, fold this edge to the middle line. And don't fold all the way across, just fold on the corner right here. So, I'll show you how much. So, just fold from this crease right here. There's a little crease right here. Fold from that crease to the corner. So, just on that triangle. Like that. And repeat on in the, in the other direction. Fold, fold this edge to here. And just fold on the corner. Just from that crease to, to the corner. Like that. Okay, and now repeat on this side. I'll go ahead and fast forward. Or maybe not. <laughs> okay, just like that. Alright, now I believe we're done with the, the pre creasing, and now it's time to form the box. So, here's what we're gonna do. So, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start by making this box. So, just make those creases just right now. And now let's look on this side. Oh wait, no, 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 sorry. There's still a couple creases we need to add. I, I forgot. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna make a fold that goes in between these two points right here. So where this diagonal crease hits this diagonal crease, so where they make a point right there, and on this side too. See, just like this. And repeat on this side. <laughs> yeah, that was my dog. <laughs> okay. Like that. Okay, and now it's time to form the box. So, now we got all the pre creases done. So, what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna make pretty much a simple box. So, take these points and bring them together, like this, or folding on that diagonal. And then now, take this point and fold it all the way to this point inside. And it, it doesn't matter what direction you fold it, you can fold it like in this direction or in this direction. It doesn't matter. We're just locking it together. So just we're just locking it just like a simple box. We just fold it down like that. And now to lock it even better, take uh, this point and you can you can fold it over to taste. Just about like that, good. Alright, and repeat on this side. Make that fold like this. Fold the flap down. And then fold that flap over like this. Alright, so that side's done. And now repeat on this side. So make the make that fold. Fold that flap down. Fold that flap over. Like that. And right here too. Okay, there's boxes, like that. Okay, and now, what about this part right here? Well, for that, um, it's a little bit harder, but here's what we're gonna do. So, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna pinch, we're just gonna pinch these two points right here, so like this. And now, um, if, you, if you want it to be a little bit simpler, you can just take this point and fold it to here, like this, and that'll lock it together, and then repeat on this side. So you'll get a box that's similar like this with these two flaps sticking out but if you don't want the flaps here like this then here's what we're gonna do so this is a little bit hard but not too hard though 
So we're gonna do is we're gonna take this coin and we're gonna fold it here. And it doesn't it doesn't matter what direction you fold it, you can fold it in this direction too. I'm gonna fold it like this. Alright, and make that fold nice and sharp. Alright, and repeat on this side. So fold this point to this point. Either direction is fine. Alright, make that nice and sharp. Okay, now this is the tricky step. So, what we're gonna do is, uh, you, you can do this on either side. I'm gonna do it on, I'm gonna do it right here. So, open this side up. You can open this if you want, but I'm gonna do it right here. So, open this up and make sure that this, this fold right here is a mountain fold. Thing, like this. And we're just gonna pretty much reverse fold this. So, fold like that. Let me zoom in so you can see. And now you can take this point and fold it all the way to this point inside. Either direction is fine. So, like this. Alright, now if you want to lock it even better, you can take this point and fold it over. And it's easier at a thinner paper. If you're, if you're using thick paper, like printer paper or whatever, then uh, I wouldn't recommend folding that point over. <laughs> unless, you have, unless your hands are really strong. But yeah, that's kind of, that seems kind of challenging out of printer paper because the layers are so thick right there. But yeah, you can you can do it out of Kami though. See, just like that, and repeat on this side. So either side is fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna open up this slot right here, and this fold needs to be a mountain right there. And then now to make this reverse fold, so just like this. And now this flap you see inside there, fold it down either direction, like this, and if your paper is thin enough then you can take that point and fold it over, Ugh, it's really thick right there, <laughs> there we go, good enough, <laughs> not great, but good enough, alright, and once you did that, your double box 2.0 is completed, and yeah, and I like this one a lot better than this one because it's it's way bigger and it's more cleaner because there's no creases right here and there's no flap sticking out too so yeah or this could also be a one piece origami bookshelf because um i got a model over here see this right here is an origami bookshelf that i made i learned this from youtube and i learned i learned this model from this video right here see and you can put these origami books inside right here and to learn how to fold the books you can click on one of these videos. So yeah, you just put the books inside like this. See, just like this. And this model uses like three sheets of paper. So this is not all one piece. So this right here is all one piece. So yep, you can put your books inside like this. So, oh yeah, but the only problem that is that the books kind of stick out. So this is not as deep as this model. But yeah, but unless it makes your books really tiny. I'm gonna go ahead and try and put them all in there. There you go. Yeah, kind of works a little bit. Alright, well, I hope you guys were able to make this. Make sure you subscribe and let me know what you think. Alright, see you guys later.